I have a question for you, Austin. Okay. Is is it really that bad? Yeah. Do you really do you really think it's that bad in America? I know it's that bad. Austin, I'm I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna lie to you. I don't really think you really tried when you was at home. I, I believe that you were that you were so ready to get back out of the country, you didn't even really give it a fair shake. What was I supposed to do then? What, what do you what 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 could I have done differently? I'm not saying that you could have did anything differently. I just did. I just don't believe the the, the effort. Okay, every country is different, right? So the, the same. Do, do you use the same? Uh, do you do you use the same approach in Brazil that you would in Kenya? Yeah. Hey, how are you? Works in Kenya, doesn't work in Texas. So your same approach works all the way around the world. Yeah. And it doesn't work. Hey, how are you? Doesn't work at all in the States. Some places it works better than others. But uh, yeah, generally speaking, yeah, most countries in the world, I could just have basic conversation and that's fine. Uh, I mean, we did it live, too, though. You know, we did it on live video. I asked chicks, you know, like, well, what's your name? None of your business. Brazilian chicks don't say that. Well, I watch, believe it, contrary to belief, I believe YouTubers watch the most YouTube. I watch everybody. Regardless if I'm, uh, you know, I, I jump on your panels or not, or I'm in the channel or not, I watch I watch everything. I did see that, um, but I, I think it's, I mean, you talk, you, we, we, we can also talk, uh, I know you talk about, um, you know, what am I trying to say here? I know we also talk about like the approach, not you know, verbals, non-verbals. You can you can look at a chick and see if you can, if, if you say something to her, she gonna say something back. You can look, you can size her up right there and see if you really got game, like you say you do, right? You can look at a girl automatically kind of walk past her tail if you say something to her if she wants to be bothered or not. I know who should I? I, I know exactly who I should approach at all times. Yeah. So. I believe I believe some of the settings that you were placing yourself in, and I believe that some of the women that you tried to approach, they were already not approachable before you said something to them. Do you think American women are naturally approachable? I mean, because even the stuff that they, the way how they talk about men, you wouldn't even they. I, I mean, listening to how they, like, think about their viewpoints, right? Like, that's the one country in the world where you can accidentally be looking in a direction at a chick at the gym and she's going to go off on you. Like, are those kind of women approachable? But if, you can, if, you can, if you can't even mistakenly look in their direction. I don't, I don't think I'm going to be honest. Now, I'm going to be honest. There are some women that are like that. There are some women that will completely curse you when we curse you out. There are some women that look at you like, what, what are you looking at? But I think we try to go after women. One in America, I think we go after women that are completely out of our class because we get spoiled overseas, and then we come back here and we forget that the, the women that we have have a whole lot more to offer than the women overseas as far as what they can do. Like um, what? I don't care that I don't. I don't care about a woman's finances, but they come from a, as far as their background is concerned, and the the amount of education that they have, and the the finances that they do have, even though I don't give a damn about it, they bring a lot more to the table in that sense. So they can stand on their own. So I believe we go after women that are outside of our parameters. If you ask me, you know what I'm saying? I think we get a little spoiled with the women that we get overseas and then we come home and we think we should get the same woman. But the same woman that we was talking to, she was butt naked in a hut. She was on a rice field making fried rice. You know what I mean? You, so, you know what I mean? Yeah, that's that's going to be a lot easier to accomplish than this girl that graduated from Spelman. That's a uh, you know, what I mean, that's that that's a law student. We going, we, you know, what I mean, we going after uh, we, we going after chicks that's in for, for villas and shit like that. I mean, let's be honest here. Every female, I mean, every guy and every YouTuber ain't talking to lawyers and doctors and dentists. You, these girls is in. Wait, these, wait that doesn't make sense. That's in the that doesn't make sense. Pardon, pardon, pardon me. Go ahead. No, that doesn't make sense though. You said that we're shooting above our league, basically, but then you say we why why would we want a chick from Spelman then? Well, why this not is, get the, the McDonald's cashier? Well, they don't want it. You got guys don't want to holler at the McDonald's cashier, but they'll go they'll go overseas and holler at the 
the girl in the favela. But when they get here, they want the Instagram. We want the Instagram model. We want the chick with 200,000 subscribers. We, they're not shooting at the they're not shooting at the girl that's just a regular librarian. They want that. They we're so fixated on social media in the states. That's what we want. But then when we go overseas, we damn near lower our standards. The beauty is there, but the standard is lower. Uh, I did a video talking about how I'm not dating any more broke women back uh, in December. Hold I said on. she needs a job and a car. Awesome. Okay, Austin. So you saying every girl in Brazil that you dated got a car and a job? That's been my new standard since December. Now, before when I first started traveling, yeah, I was fucking just a fuck. Gotcha. But after after I got it out of me, it was like, okay, I'm I'm done with these broke chicks. But uh, the thing is, man, I I was not. The reason why I'm asking this question is because. I believe you got it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't got the sauce, as I like to call it. You got the sauce to talk to anybody. I don't think you should put a restriction on anything. Now, I do understand some of the, the, the defense that they play. They do play some crazy defense back home. But I think you got the sauce to be able to do whatever you want to do wherever you go. And we shouldn't we shouldn't limit ourselves when we come home because you eventually got to come home. And I don't think you should limit yourself because I do think that you have options here, not as many. Uh, but I just don't think you put in the same effort as you do overseas as you do when you back home. That's that's what I'm saying. If you ain't having, I wouldn't have brought it up. Well, I appreciate it, but yeah, the uh, the effort that you got to put in in the states is it's it's draining. Like it, in Sao Paulo, is pretty much uh, uh, that's why I was trying to talk about getting the hell out of here last night. Uh, it's a replica. It's it's like a replica because like. You got they they're ghosting and so this is the only city I've been to out of 40 plus cities throughout the world that they ghost the same way they do in the states. Mm. And they ghost so much in the states. It's it, the, the stuff in the states is kind of like, well, what what am I getting? Like, I'm supposed to be focused on my purpose, then I need to be around easy pussy. <laughs> because if I need if I'm gonna be spending time working on myself, the pussy gotta be easy. Because if it's hard, now I got to figure out how to get pussy instead of working on myself. I got to add, add to this. Go ahead. As another I, young I, I, man, I, <laughs> I, can, I can say, like, reality, bro, America, it, like, approaching women and shit like that, bro, and being on Tinder, that shit's lame. Women view you as a lame. Women already have guys. And them guys ain't on the streets walking up to women trying to get them a girl, a straggler on the street and shit like that, bro. So it's about where you are in your environment. That's why overseas it works. You think in Colombia, a Colombian man could just cold approach women and, bro, she'd look at him like, are you stupid? So it's like, you got to kind of like look at yourself and realize what you're doing. That's what we used to do in high school. Go to the mall and just walk up to girls. Girls ain't look that don't turn girls on no more. Girls ain't looking to meet a guy in the mall. They trying uh, to meet a guy at the top floor of the penthouse in the elevator on the I, yacht. I'm sorry, I disagree with you, man. Uh approaching women is not dead. Yeah, I yeah, I, I see I'm, I'm in Latin America, I will go, I will literally walk around the mall for four hours straight. Just because I'm that no, I'm saying, it works the over there because you're American. In America, it don't work because it's like that shit. It's it's old. It's played out. You know, I I dis I disagree, but I just think it's based on your experience, and that's why it's important for everybody to give their experience because I don't think there's a wrong answer in this. This is why I'm not attacking anyone and saying you're wrong. You know, and we're coming from two different age groups. Just to give you some, you know, what I mean, I'm 39. I just turned 39. You know what I mean? You guys are in your 20s. Uh, Flight, he, uh, he, I believe I heard him say he's 32, if I'm listening correctly. Um, so we from two, we are from three different backgrounds. So I can understand where you're coming from. And I'm not going to say, well, you should be doing this and you should be doing that because that's your experience. And I respect your experience because I see it with my own eyes. Um, I just don't think there's, there's no wrong answer in this. I was just saying, I do believe he, he I believe all of you guys can have success here um, if you wanted to, just as well as you could 
uh, overseas. Now you may not be able to shoot at the that at that type of clip. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest because I have been overseas, so I don't believe that you you're shooting at the same clip. No, and I'm from overseas too, so I do understand it's different. The cultural backgrounds are a little different, but the women overseas are getting they're start they're getting smarter too. They have access to phones, they have access to uh, social media as well, and they're getting smarter by the day. And they want they they want things as well. Uh, don't get it twisted. Um, you coming overseas, you just can't come overseas with uh, and you making five hundred dollars a month, and you think you about to be able to um, entertain this eight, nine, or ten on a consistent basis. They want things out of life too. Um, well, well. I will say I did want it at one point. Well, I wanted it once in the states. I wasn't getting it, so right now I'm in Brazil. And I've been around the world. Like the reason I'm on this YouTube panel is because it apparently I ain't got the sauce like you think I do. And them, I, I'm not gonna call them bitches, but uh, they were every time. I, I, I don't want to talk about the motherfuckers, man. Uh, let me read a pretty <laughs> stupid uh, Scarface sent ten dollars for Bermuda. Kick this jigger out. Thank you for the super chat. Brandon Thomas, Sin City, you sound like one of them modern females. Uh, Retro Gamer says, if you see a 9 or 10 working at McDonald's, you wouldn't holler. So, in a 9 or 10, uh, who, who was that question to? You. Me? Yeah. Would I holler? Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah I would holler. I don't, I don't really, yeah, I would holler. Let's try to answer the question. Uh, the next one uh, is Crypto Bro says in Brazil, Colombia, DR, and Thailand are eliminated. What is the bit the next best place for black men? Also, if you guys are enjoying this debate we got going, hit the cash app. We're still 550 away from the goal. Cash app, dollar sign, Austin Hoffman. So, what do you think? Brazil, Colombia, DR, and Thailand are eliminated. What is the next best place for black men? Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan. It's, that's interesting. I got a friend, uh, he just he's married to a Kazakh woman. He told me out of all the countries he's been to, Kazakhstan's the only one where they seem to prefer black men over white men. Kazakhstan. So we're gonna see. Kazakhstan. I wasn't expecting that answer. But you might need to learn Russian though. You might need to learn some Russian. So uh that's gonna that's gonna that's probably gonna eliminate like ninety nine percent of guys right there. Uh to your point, uh, Sin City, uh, we'll get a couple of these super chats here in a second. I mean, wasn't expecting I, I don't know, man. I've I've met American women in other countries, and I'm like, oh, let me try it again. I got two scenarios. The first one, I was in Africa. Chick was cool. She she actually hit me up, and this is some shit that they usually do. She hit me up. We went out, kicked it. We ended up hanging out for like seven hours. Most and we were jumping from different bars to bars. Usually when a chick follows you around, uh, you're smashing. And we got all the way. She's telling people she's my boyfriend and shit. Dudes that are trying to talk to her, she's kissing me. We get all the way back to the house, naked, in the bed, and she's not trying to smash. And I'm like, yo, I, this, this is in Africa. I'm like, this is the same. Y'all really are different. No matter where the hell where the hell y'all are, this is the same. This is one of the many reasons why I left that motherfucker. Because of this shit. That's the the teasing. That's one of them. Uh, the second one, I was in Medellin. I didn't have this one on video, but I was. I think I was outside of a restaurant at uh, what is it, Poblado, and uh, I heard some English, and I was like, "Oh, where y'all from? New York." I'm like, let me just do an experiment. Do y'all have Instagram? And they, I mean, if there was a dude, I probably would have punched them motherfuckers for the way how they responded to me. They went off, oh, I'm 40 years. Like, I mean, literally like a fucking dude. And I'm like, yeah, I'd rather stick with the locals. 